Hey everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. After a long time, I am proud to say, welcome back to my channel. Uh, some of you guys may know I've been a little, uh, <laughs> uh, not as present on here, and I keep saying, you know, I hope I'm going to change that, and as always, I hope I'm going to change that, uh, but for the past couple months, I have been living in Virginia, working at Bush Gardens, and that contract is now over, and I am back home outside of Chicago, back in my lovely apartment. Uh, this is the same apartment that I filmed almost every video on this channel on. Uh, we do have a different layout in the background now, though, because my original wall of CDs is gone now. I am doing a very big cleaning purge of a lot of stuff in my apartment. So uh, this is the new setup. Uh, I really do like it. And uh, in case you couldn't tell by the vinyl that I got behind me right there, today we are reacting to Kylie Minogue's newest album, Tension, which uh, also I did buy uh, for when I take the thumbnail, so I can match her. <laughs> Even though this, this is a little smaller than the diamond she's got on there. But um, Yes, after much uh, anticipation and people asking me, and that is really sweet, that a lot of people have messaged me and they're like, where are you? You haven't reacted to this. Uh, I couldn't be more excited. I did react to the lead single, technically the second single, uh, Pedam, however you want to say it, Padam, 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 as that uh, AI thing says it. Um, but yes, I'm here today and I couldn't be more excited. The album did drop almost three weeks ago, so I am behind, but I'm getting things in my life back together, so please excuse me for that. Uh, I couldn't be more excited here today, so as uh, as I as I said, we're listening to Tension, Kylie Minogue's newest album, and I do own, haven't listened to it yet because I had to wait for this, but I did purchase the, um, the gray uh, web store exclusive vinyl that does have the gatefold. Uh, as of currently, so today uh, for the track listing, I will be using the recent bonus deluxe edition that you were able to buy from her website, which I did buy because uh, I was like, I gotta, because I heard it was like a limited time. So I was like, let me get that. So I have that on my computer ready to go. Uh, so we will be using that. Uh, but this is my silver vinyl gatefold that I did buy from the web store when the link dropped. Um, unfortunately, it looks like on almost all the vinyls so far, uh, there is no vinyl version that has the bonus tracks, even the standard deluxe or the new, like, online deluxe, whatever. Uh, so there is that. So this album was preceded by three singles, which included 10 out of 10, Padam Padam, and Tension. And now I have heard um, Padam Padam, as I said, I did do a reaction to that single when it dropped, and I did hear 10 out of 10 when it came out because it wasn't announced that it was a single from the upcoming album. It was just kind of like dropped and it was like, here you go. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. Uh, and I have not heard Tension. I believe I've heard a snippet of it on TikTok, but I have saved myself for this video because I know how much you guys have wanted it. Uh, I'm excited to listen to this. I'm very sad to say goodbye to the disco era, but much like I was sad to say goodbye to the golden era, uh, disco pleasantly surprised me. So I'm hoping uh, tension surprises me as well too. So without further ado, I think the best thing to do is to get started with track number one, which is Padam Padam, uh, Kylie's biggest hit in in years. Uh, so here we go. My favorite part. Padam Padam, and you know, this is a song that has immensely grown on me. The first time I heard it, uh, which you can see in the video that is on my channel, I liked it. I wasn't crazy about it. I don't think I'm still crazy about it, but I do still, I like it even more with every listen that I give it. I, I am very happy for the success that Kylie has reached with this song. Uh, it is a fun one. Uh, however, and this is what I'm going to say, is because it's been so successful. This is the success that the singles from Disco deserved. That from what, what Golden deserved. Like, I, I, and don't get me wrong, I do like this song, but in terms of writing, like, say something. I mean, Magic, those, 
those songs, I, I, it's just, it's, it's hard because I'm like, the, the, this song's success is what I wanted for those, uh, for dancing, for, um, uh, sorry, that's my dog in the background, just moving around, but, uh, I, I, I do, I am in that boat that I feel like the success is great, should have been for the other singles from the last album, uh, but I do still enjoy this one and I'm very happy, again, I am happy for her success, it's great what she's achieved with this, uh, but I do enjoy ba dum ba dum, and uh, it is a fun one, that's for sure. And I do enjoy the sexual nature, which is something I will say that we didn't really have on Golden or Disco. So it is nice to hear her go into those body language vibes. So that's something. So before we proceed with the rest of this video, um, I have listened to a total of three songs as of uh, recording this right now while filming this reaction. I had it up on full screen on my Spotify with the lyrics up. Didn't realize that the album was on shuffle. So the three songs that I've already heard on here are Padam Padam, Vegas High, and Tension. So just know that I listened to it in the order of Padam Padam, Tension, and Vegas High. Um, so if you hear the, the numbers that are on there later in the video, it's incorrect. I didn't know, but in purposes of editing, it'll all be in order of the album. But uh, I feel dumb, so uh, excuse me for that. <laughs> it's my first reaction in a while, so give me... Cut me some slack, okay? But uh, we're gonna proceed with everything as normal from now on. Um, I took it off a shuffle, which I, ugh. All right, so now I'm officially listening to track two. Okay, so here we go. Track number two, hold on to now. That was Hold On To Now, and uh, so again, unfortunately, we had our little mishap of track listing, um, but this is definitely the most, uh, I guess in a sense it's similar to a, a Vegas high in that a themic feeling of, you know, good feelings, good vibes, although, you know, Vegas is a little uh, risque, so I mean, that's a little different than uh, things we, or um, than Hold On To Now, uh, but I did really enjoy the anthemic vibe of it. Uh, again, really nice vocals. The one thing, though, that I'm not... I'm noticing with this album, especially again, hearing the two unfortunate, not unfortunate, but unfortunately going in the wrong order. Um, there's a lot of repeat like words in this, like now, now, now. Um, it's, that seems to be happening a lot so far in the songs I'm listening to, which I don't hate, but I find it interesting that I noticed that right away. You know what I mean? Um, but I did like this. I think I could definitely hear a single release for this for sure. Um, but only time will tell. Track number three, Things We Do For Love. Oh, the tempo's speeding up in that back there. I think we're going somewhere.
vibes. I like that. Oh, they're loving on the beach. Doing that racing thing again. Well, uh, so far I would say I think this is the happiest track on the album. This person that Kylie's in love with on here, I mean, th this is really sweet. I like the lyrics. It's cinematic when we touch. Um, what was that other one? I like it. I don't know why, but first I think should I stay or should I go? That I enjoyed right there. Um, L oh, and then the L O love on the beat. They're on the. Love it on the beat. I did, oh my god. Okay, actually, okay, I think, I actually really like this one too. I think so far, out of the songs I haven't heard, this one and um, Tension are my favorites. So, very happy about that. Track number four, we have the third single, which was Tension. So, this is the one I think I've heard a little snippet of on uh, TikTok, but I haven't heard the whole thing. So, I'm very excited for this. Here we go. Tension. I think I enjoyed this more on first listen than I did um, Padam Padam, which, okay. Uh, and I'm using this term uh, loosely, but uh, this song was definitely more explicit. <laughs> if we want, that's, yeah. I don't know if explicit is necessary. It's more explicit than Padam Padam is. Um, but I, ooh, I really like, what, what was the part? I, I guess it's, I don't know, is that really a chorus? Oh right here. I like that. That's dirty. I, I, I like that a lot. Um, oh my god, touch me right there. I, I really do enjoy Horny Kylie. We, I feel like we have not gotten Kylie this horny since body language. That is some of the things that I have heard a little bit from like Facebook groups and Twitter is that this is a very, uh, maybe not sonically body language-y, but um, Lyrically, <laughs> more body language-y. I like that. That is a fun single. Um, I don't know if it'll, I don't, I, I don't think it'll take off as well as Padam Padam did, but um, I like that. That was dirty. I, Kylie, we love Dirty Kylie. Track number five, One More Time. Okay. I feel, wait, I have to hear that again. Ability! Love that. Reminds me 
to do something at the end, too. What does this remind me of? Okay, uh, this song was fun. I, I didn't dislike, I, I feel, I feel, oh, I feel guilty, but um, this one did get a little repetitive for me. It's doing a lot of what I feel like a lot of, a lot of the other songs did. I feel like this one's a little more in your face about it because it keeps going one more time, one more time. Ah, ah. Uh, wait, am I crazy? I don't know if I'm crazy, but I, I, I don't remember Golden or um, Disco feeling this repetitive. And again, I don't, I don't dislike this one. It was fun. It was definitely a fun little silly something. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to think. Track number six, You Still Get Me High. All right, I think we're getting something a little slower here. Maybe. get me high and I feel mixed I, I generally did actually like it um, when when I really enjoyed the atmospheric you know slower pace down that we've gotten from the other tracks with this and so I was a little upset at first when it started you know bopping a little more in the chorus um, and then the second time it happened I was like I get what they're going for here like the sense that you know she's thinking about her high or like this this person and it gets her high and when she feels that high it, it brings her up to that uh, speed again um and so I get I get the idea I don't know if I'm as in love with the execution um is especially when the beat takes over more towards the end um I find myself not as into it I really enjoyed the atmosphere part of it more uh kind of reminds me it's got a similar sense as uh Miley Cyrus's song high so I did I did appreciate that there. Um, not that I think that, that went into their consideration when making this song or anything like that, but uh, I feel like I'm 65% with the song, um, but I enjoy the more atmospheric part of it a little more. Um, and I, I get totally what they were going for. I just don't know if I'm in love with that. Track number seven, I, I love the name. Hands, let's go. <laughs> love I like this lyric coming here. Big drop on the bass line, what is it? Okay. Ooh! TikTok on the way to Okay. 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 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. She's queen in this. Interesting uh, song we have here. Um, I definitely think one thing that I'm getting the vibe of is that this album does seem split between these more anthemic, more, you know, uh, like loving life type songs and like these more sexier songs. I find that I'm grooving with the sexier songs more on this album. Um, especially, you know, like with Tension and Padum Padum. Uh, this one I really liked. It was a much slower paced song than I think anything, even slower than the when the beat gets like all fast and you still get me high. Um, also excuse, I live right next to a train, so I think you can you might be able to hear the train in the video right now. Um, but I did like this one, but it get, this song I feel like sums up what the album is. It feels like a cross, uh, at least a, uh, somewhere in limbo between wanting to be a more sexy song, which I think is what this one is at its core, but some of the, ly the lyrics are a little more, you know, loving, loving the person for who they are type of vibes. Um, so again, I, but I did enjoy this one a lot more, which is a shame because it's one of them, uh, not the least listened to one so far, but, um, huh. yeah, but I did like, I liked it. I thought it was nice. It was chill. Track number eight, Green Light. This is giving disco vibes. All right, so am I the only one that thinks that this sounds like it's an outtake from disco? Like, sound-wise, that legit saxophone that's going on in there, um, the vocals almost sound like something I would hear on disco. It's not to say that her voice has changed, obviously, from, what, 2020 to, what is it, 2023? Um, but, and, like, even the title, Green Light, like, just give me the green light, and I can make you... It, this sounds like it's from disco. Um... Which I'm not mad at. I mean, I think if it was on disco, it would maybe, you know, not as be as, like, noticeable compared to some of the other tracks. But uh, on here, it sticks out. And not bad in a bad way either. I don't even know if I'm, maybe I'm just crazy. But just give me the green light and I can make you feel. I like that. I like that too. She's like, give me, give me the okay signal and I'm going to, I'm going to make everything all better for you. Um, I actually enjoyed that very thoroughly. Um, and it, you know, it, it works too, because it does fit here. It doesn't feel out of place, but it sounds, I feel like you could slot this on disco and it would fit. Um, which, you know, I, I where, where are you, disco? 
It's all the way. I do own, you know, just because, you know, we got the time here, might as well show it. I did originally own that, um, the double marble, like, attempted blue marble that came out that did have the bonus tracks. I did end up selling it. Uh, because when they released this, I was, I'm trying to, you know, be more limited in what I buy. So I'm like, I'd only need one copy. And I'm like, this gives me all the bonus tracks and everything in that too. And I also do own, um, in my Kylie Minogue section over here, I do own the, the disco extended mixes, uh, because how can you not? Um, and I guess while I'm, you know, showing my collection of disco here, I do have, where'd you go, Kylie? Um, I do also have infinite disco, you know, this, uh, but the thing is on here backward. What color is it? Oh, it's a clear, it's a clearer one. Um, we love it. We stand it. Um, go disco. Woo! Track number nine, Vegas High, which we, <laughs> you know, fun, before we start this song, I had the idea when they announced that the residency was happening in Vegas, I was like, oh my God, I should go to Vegas, go see Kylie. How bad, how expensive could it be? <laughs> it wasn't even the price. You couldn't even get a ticket if you tried. Um, so that's not happening for me, but, uh, it's okay. I'm sure I'll see her one day eventually. She'll, cause she'll, she's got to come to Chicago sometime soon. I haven't been to Vegas since 2017, I think. Okay. Okay. Reminds me of something, but I can't. I can't think of it. Okay, that was Vegas High. I liked it. It's cute. Something something sweet for the Vegas residency. I either, it will definitely be in the Vegas residency. I think it would actually be a nice opener for the Vegas residency. Um, but I think that's where I would leave this one. I'm, I'm not to say that I won't listen to it again, obviously, but uh, uh, something sweet for Vegas. I think that that's nice. There were a little bit of um, on a night like this vibes that I was kind of getting from it. Um, I'm sure if you read Pete Listens, they'll tie this one in for me. It's not even that I'm not sold on it. I'm just like, it's cute, cool. I get it. Um, nice vocal. All right, track number 10 is fittingly the amazing song, 10 out of 10, which I feel it, this is one of the songs that I always look back on and I'm like, damn that I didn't react to this. Um, but I really do thoroughly enjoy the song and it is on a technicality. You can fight me. Um, it is the lead single from this album. So uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm turning this up. I love this. Oh, and this is with Oliver Heldens. I don't know him like that. Ten. Uh, oh, ten. Ten. Body. Ten. Touch. Ten. Energy. Ten.
out of 10. Match, 10. Energy, 10. 10 out of 10. Ready? 10. Touch, 10. Energy, 10. 10 out of 10. Woo! Ah, whenever this um, single ended up dropping, I don't remember. It was... What did Padam Padam like dropped in May? So I think maybe this was like April that this dropped. Uh, but it's weird to me that it was not announced as like a single from the upcoming album. It was just kind of like, here's Kylie and Oliver, they, they're together. Um, but it ended up being on this album. So in my in my little mind, um, this is technically the lead single. And if it is the lead single, which it is in my mind, ah, it's stunning. Again, you know, it is, I guess you could argue, it is a little more repetitive. Um, like, which is seems to be a theme for for this, and I don't mean that meanly. I don't. I don't. I don't. I swear. I swear to all the Kylie fans. Um, but I feel like it lives up to its. Um, re I keep saying it like that, but it lives up to the repetitiveness of it. It's so. This one is so joyful. Um, whereas uh, what was the so hands where I feel like we're kind of like in a mix between like these more sexier like undertones and more happier, loving you know love. Love is a many splendored thing, you know, type of deal. Um, I think this one does it the best. Uh, it's it's so sweet. Body ten, touch ten, energy ten. I mean, to to find somebody who makes you feel like that, it must be a very intense ten out of ten feeling. Uh, so yeah, I actually oh my actually you know listening to it again right now with my new little surround speaker system I got going on in my living room. Um, this was actually hitting my, this is hitting my heart here. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it doesn't, it's, oh my God. Wow, padam, padam. I keep wanting to go padam, padam. Um, has, that's a lot of streams right there. Um, but yeah, I like, I love this song. So I'm sad I didn't react to it when it came out, but I'll, I'll reap, I'll, I'll deal with that in my heart. <laughs> Track number 11, Story, which is the last track of the standard edition. a very lovely closer to the standard edition of the album. Uh, again, I don't know if I was as sold um, at first when the beat dropped, although this one I feel is one I could learn to really actually truly love. Uh, I like the acknowledgement of her talking to this person that's been with her through for a very long time and how important they are to her, how much they mean to her, what they've done for her. That's a really sweet way to end the album. Um, it doesn't... I, um, there's not much of a cohesion of a theme, I feel, here with this album, uh, in terms of, I think, what it wants to say, uh, whereas I feel that that was much clearer on Golden and Disco. Um, so it, it feels like... It feels... 
how do I put this? It feels much more uh, targeted than I feel some of the other songs necessarily feel from the rest of the track listing. Um, but I did like that. I, there were some really interesting vocals from Kylie on here too, and the production was actually, it kept you guessing, that's one thing for sure, and it definitely had um, Love Somebody vibes. Is that, yeah, that's Mary Mary, <laughs> where she says that, I mean, right? I, well, I mean, I have it right here. Um, I'm, I'm not crazy, right? Celebrate you, that's what it is. So, so, love somebody is, some di is a different one I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, uh, I actually did like that a lot. I think I think this is, even though the part where I was like, eh, I don't know, I think that that'll grow on me pretty easily. Okay, we are officially on to the bonus tracks of the album. Uh, we are now on track number 12, which is called Love Train, which um, I like that title, Love Train. <laughs> That was Love Train, the first of our bonus tracks, and um, it was cute. Uh, it reminded me of that song from Light Years that's, I think, like Cuckoo Cachoo or something like that. Um, isn't there also like a song on Light Years called Love? Um, am, am I crazy? Or maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Maybe because, you know, boats, trains, transportation. Um, yeah, Love Boat. Yeah, literally. Oh my god, they're right next to each other. Love Boat and Cuckoo Cuckoo Cachoo. Uh, th those aren't two ones that I flock back to, um, but that's what it's giving me of. I mean, it was cute, um, but I get I get a bonus track, um, something sweet, something cute. That's really what it summed up. Track number thirteen, just imagine. Oh, I like them. Ba dum ba dum. Boom boom. song i i like the premise of this uh you know thinking about the things that we all we could be together you know like that just imagine what what could be um pure imagination if you will uh but it feel this especially for it being a bonus track it feels a little undercooked um it doesn't feel like it goes anywhere and maybe that's the point because they're just imagining so it can't really well, i mean hey you gotta imagine to, to make something happen i don't know um I, I didn't dislike it though, because I think it has an interesting idea, but I don't know if it goes where it should. I don't even know where it could go, but I don't know. It just fe it feels a little undercooked, which is probably why it's a bonus track. Um, 
it's the least listened to bonus track also. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel fully realized. Track number three, the last track of the standard deluxe edition is Somebody to Love, which is funny because, I mean, if I'm cor correct, if we go to, I have to double check, you know, my facts, but the last track of the deluxe edition of, um, no, 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 it's the first bonus track, but Till You Love Somebody, and now we have Somebody to Love. Um, funny how that works out. Aww. Well, I like that lyric. She's saying to Cupid, one day that arrow. I, I like that. That's cool. Hey, another cinematic reference. All right, dare I say it, I actually think this might be my favorite track I've heard on the album, um, which might be a little crazy, but um, this was absolutely so adorably sweet that it's honestly a crime that this is a bonus track. Um, the fact that Kylie is sitting here and saying, hey, if you ever think that this is, you know, you're ready to find that one person, um, that someone is me and this is real and this could be happening, this could be starting tonight. Strangers to friends and to lovers, open your heart and let the solo go. We could be good for each other. Don't have to do it alone. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. <laughs> Dare I say a best track on the album that isn't like, you know. See, this is what I wanted. This is like going into like full like, it's not necessarily a ballad, but it keeps the, the steady groove. And I, I really liked that. Um, crime that this is a bonus. It's a crime! It, uh, uh, what a crime! Yeah, that I can't listen to this song on vinyl. Kylie, I'm gonna need that deluxe edition vinyl soon because that ain't right. I was, I'm still a little shocked that there has not been a deluxe vinyl with the bonus tracks. It's a little, cause I mean with disco they did that. So granted technically, well no. Yeah, technically that was the harder to get was the attempted blue marble vinyl. Um, Notice how I keep saying attempted because that marble was lackluster. <laughs> Not Kylie's fault, but um, that's why I got rid of it because I didn't need it. Um, 
That's a shame. That is a crying shame that I can't listen to this song on vinyl. Okay, we are now onto the bonus deluxe edition, which you could get exclusively through Kylie's store. I don't think you can get it there anymore. Um, I don't know, uh, because it was like a weekly thing, but I, I mean, I think it'll be back. And I mean, these are MP3s, so I'm sure there's Kylie, not me, but Kylie fans out there that will share it to YouTube, much like me, but this is a reaction, so that's different. Um, I, I don't think they'll become rare or anything like that. Uh, but uh, this is um, Heavenly Body. Uh, so here we go. This is track number 15. And I don't have lyrics for this because it's um, not on Spotify. So I'm playing this from my tunes. The vocal on this, it's sounding really similar to Padam Padam, which is interesting. Probably after um, Somebody to Love. This is probably my second favorite of the bonus tracks. Uh, what I like is that it sticks with its consistent atmospheric theme, which I think is really nice. The, the heavenly body tonight. Um, that I enjoyed. And it's also coincidentally the longest song on the album at four minutes and 22 seconds. So I feel like it really has the opportunity to like build up its vibe, stick with its vibe, and take you to the, the heavenly body as you can feel on the inside. Um, it's, it's definitely a more moody, um, this is probably the one that, how do I put this? Um, I think at the end I'm gonna talk about how lyrically this isn't probably my favorite Kylie album, but I feel like the simplicity of the lyrics, in this one at least, works really, really well. Um, so I did actually enjoy that. I, I, some fun vocals, and it's interesting also how the production and the effect on Kylie's voice, there's parts of it that, sim that sound similar to Padam Padam, um, you know, I feel like I say it wrong every time. Um, uh, and that's interesting to hear like those kind of effects in a different vibe. You know what I mean? So I did like Heavenly Body. Track number 16, the final track we will be listening to today, Drum. <laughs> Oh. Okay. 
That's interesting. Okay, that was drum. So it's really interesting how these two bonus tracks, uh, ex exclusive like online bonus tracks, uh, I feel are the most experimental of the album. I think the experiments pay off a little more in Heavenly Body. Um, this one, um, you know, I got to admit, I enjoy it more than the first two, bo Love Train and Just Imagine, because um, you hear like a lot of interesting things, like where it, ta it, it takes like Kylie, it seems like a while to get to the part where she's like, I'm gonna beat dance to the beat of my own drum, and then boom, but um, but but ta ta pat, but ta ta, um, where we start getting a little scat in there, which is a little odd, but I admire the creativeness of it. I don't know if I don't know if it works. I guess that's really it depends on your personal preference if it works. But I'm not in the I'm not, I feel like I'm not in the I love it or hate it camp. Um, but it, it definitely it was much more interesting. I feel than some of the standard tracks, even though that those are more, you know, commercial and whatnot. Um, but this was interesting. I'm interested to see what repeat listens do for me. I definitely appreciate in these bonus deluxe tracks, um, the moodiness that I feel that is apparent in both. Um, so I do appreciate that. All right, everybody, we just finished listening to Kylie Minogue's I, oh god, I just had this up, I want to make sure, 16th studio album, uh, Tension, and I'm sorry to say that, uh, I don't know, I, I'm definitely not giving this album a 10 out of 10, <laughs> the pun there, um, where do, where do I begin? You know, first of all, some really nice vocals from Kylie on this album, so I definitely appreciated that from it, uh, some interesting production uh, throughout every song, which is a, enjoy, a joy too. At least sonically, this album is very fun to listen to. Um, but after I feel her career highs of Golden, and I know that Golden seems to be a very divisive album in the community, which I find very odd because it's Kylie's most personal and what some album with some of her best lyrics, I find. Um, and then Disco, the I feel like the release that we all needed, especially during COVID, I... Uh, this album feels like I don't I don't feel like it has much to say. Whereas originally I thought I was under the um the idea that there was this was a much more uh, an album that was much more uh, indicative of body language. Honestly, only in a couple of songs did I get that vibe, you know, padam padam and um what was it? Tension and I guess a little bit of hands, but I feel like the album I feel like, whereas with the other two, I feel like I got a clear, like, idea and message. I don't feel like I really got much out of this, this piece of this material. Um, and I'm a little disappointed in that. It just feels like release, not necessarily releasing music for releasing music's sake, um, but definitely less cohesive than our last two albums we did get from Kylie, which is a bit of a shame. Um, now, thankfully, it's not like anything in here is poorly written or necessarily bad. I just don't think it lives up to the vibes that we got from there. And this is honestly similar to me in the way I feel about um, Miley Cyrus's recent album, and the Summer Vacation, whereas I feel like her last album, Plastic Hearts, really showed this evolution, this level of what she can do. And the next album, and the Summer Vacation, I feel like had nothing to say. Um, and much like this, I don't, I didn't get much of a saying in here. I mean, we didn't really get full on Sexy Kylie, and for like Sentimental Kylie, it only came in through like little bursts, um, which is fine, okay, I guess. So in terms of my favorite tracks, um, Padam, 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 um, Tension, um, You Still Get Me High, or no, You Still Get Me High was, it's growing on me in, in terms of thought about it. Hands, Green Lights, um, 10 out of 10, Story. I personally think that the best like commercial tracks are 10 out of 10, Padam Padam, and um, Tension, which are all the singles, which I feel were the best bits that were released. Um, but in terms of the sentimental faves, I mean, Story is a really adorable song. Um, and some, Somebody Love is, to me, the best written song of the album, uh, which is a shame, again, that it's a bonus track. And even the bonus bonus tracks uh, were the most experimental and fun to listen to, um, better than the first two bonus tracks. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess you get an easy read off of Disco and Golden, and this one, I don't know... I don't know what we were going for. I feel like I angered a lot of Kylie fans in this video, but I mean, it's not that I, I you know, it'll grow on me. I'm, I'm sure a lot of tracks will. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm a little more mixed. I didn't feel like there was much to be said here, um, which I guess, you know, maybe that's what I like from Kylie, especially uh, when she has, you know, a little something more on her mind. But um, regard, and if it's of course, uh, and it, this is also what goes back in the endless summer vacation. It's like the song Flowers got all the praise that everything on Plastic Hearts deserved. It got all the success that that deserved. And I feel like everything with tension and Kylie deserves all the success in the world. But if we're gonna be honest as to what that success should have been towards, it was golden and disco, not padum padum. I'm sorry, it might be controversial, but I just think it's true. Uh, but anyways, I, I I had a fun time listening to it. Um, again, repeat listens, you know, things change, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that was my thoughts on Tension. What do you guys think of Tension? Let me know in the comments below. As always, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvador J. Rocha, Twitter at Sal, well, technically X now, X at Salvador, or Sal says stuff, and um, TikTok at Sal Rocha one So, you know, there's all that good jazz. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. We'll see. Uh, hopefully I don't get crucified too bad for this. Uh, so see you guys another time. Have a great day. Bye.